If you're a restaurant and you're looking to build that brand in your marketplace and grow that revenue, get more guests in that door, this is the video for you. How can you fix your Google or Facebook or Instagram ads to optimize them to get better results? Hi, my name is John Vigara. I'm the CEO and founder of Adapting Social, but you don't care about that, so it's fine. Let's keep going. So the point though is, is that at the end of the day, a lot of times people, small business owners, brands, whether it's a salesperson that wants to you know, grow, they throw some money into Google and they're like, hey, this isn't working, what the hell? Or Facebook or Instagram, I'm burning money in a fireplace. But there's a big reason on why that typically happens. One thing I want you to know and understand, okay, is that you need to have a super compelling offer, incentive, discount, rate, something, or a really loud value proposition. What is your X factor that makes you stand out? Now on places like Google, you have a finite amount of text that you can put in there. So you can't just put whatever you want and all this different text, short and sweet. And, and that short and sweet text has to have built into it an offer that makes you stand out or a value prop that makes you stand out. So think about that. A lot of times people are like, oh, I don't want to devalue my brand. I don't want to put all these different offers or things into play because it's going to hurt my brand. But guys, we live in a very budget conscientious world now. People want a good deal or they want to know why they should go with you over somebody else. So in your ad copy, whether it's Google or that's Facebook, I want you to assess it and really think, is this something that is going to get somebody out of bed for this, right? Are they gonna come into my store? Are they gonna go on my digital store? And in most cases, if it's just like an entry ticket, like everybody, every one of your competition is doing it, then you know they're not gonna freaking click. So let's not waste our time there, let's move. Let's, let's, let's move, let's make good copy that is going to have a great offer. Make an offer that people can't refuse, you'll be in a great position. Make a value proposition that people can't refuse, you'll be in a great position. A lot of times ads fail because the ad copy on Google sucks and it's entry ticket and it's not gonna help you get in front of more people. Secondly, is for Facebook and Instagram especially, is the ad assets. In the ad assets, you have to be in a position where you are putting yourself in the war for attention and standing out. And what I mean by the word for attention is that anybody that's watching this video can make your own ad now, right? So that's simple. What's gonna make you stand out? It comes down to one thing, and it's creating an ad, a video, or an image that is going to stand out. If you have something that's just sitting there and it's a video with no editing or it's a shit video that has bad lighting, you are not going to stand out, right? We have less than three seconds to say something compelling and to make it work. So my two tips for you on your ads are coming down to your ad copy and having a great offer that's irrefusable. And then secondly, if you can't make an offer, make a value proposition that is irrefusable and makes people say, I need to work with you. And then second comes down to that ad asset, meaning the video or image you're using for that. You have to have good assets, and if you don't, and they're not winning the war for attention and making people say, wow, this is good, this is really cool, I'm gonna stop and watch this, then they're not going to click and convert. Again, and that follows through. I'll even throw in a quick tidbit. I'll even throw one more in there for you. Your funnel page or website has to be set to close these leads, right? And in most cases, people don't have all their ducks in a row. They don't have good ad copy that's compelling or an offer. They don't have a great asset that's helping them get in on the war for attention. And then they don't have a good website or landing page. And typically they're like, why isn't this working? It's one of those three. So having that said, when you focus on your landing page, you build out a user experience that is there to set you up and to close those leads by validating the right credibility, having your offer stand up really strong, and lastly, making it so easy for people to contact you. That's what's gonna help you win, family. That's what's gonna help you win, okay? So if you need help with this, Adapting Social, we've been doing it for over 15 years with businesses in over 20 countries, helping them build their brand credibility and scale their revenue through performance marketing. So if you need help, adaptingsocial.com, we got your back. Take care.